Hey guys, Dan Lucart here, and I'm Barefoot Tesla. We're going to be looking at an FSD Beta 8.1 video. This comes from Frenchie's YouTube page. Go ahead and check it out. It's pretty good. In this specific example, we're looking at a failed stop sign. So let's watch with commentary, and then we'll dissect it. Cross rail. Okay. What about this stop? Nope, that wasn't good. We need to slow down here. I'm not sure why we didn't I disengage so that. All right, so that's the situation. Let me mute his commentary and we can go back and figure it out. So my first thought here was that the limit line is covered up with snow or melted snow or dirty snow or what have you. And as is the crosswalk, this is playing a part. But then I started to think why is the vehicle stopping when there's no limit line. It's just stopping at the stop sign. So that doesn't make any sense. The vehicle can stop when there's no limit line. It still knows exactly where to stop. And then I noticed this other stop sign here. And I think this is the big problem is that this is a little bit more rare to have the stop sign for your stop on the left-hand side. If you look at uh, FSD beta tester Kim, her, her area is filled with random stop signs on the left-hand side, which is super weird because we don't get that in Southern California where I'm from as much. I'm a little bit less familiar with that. I guess you wouldn't notice it as a human. You just know exactly where to stop. You shouldn't cross the street. So let's back it up a little bit because we're gonna get another clue as to why it failed or at least how it failed. As we approach the stop sign, we see stopping for traffic control in 200 feet. And we know based on how just the, the publicly released build works and in FSD beta, that this is using mapping data. Essentially what it's doing is it's queuing up the appropriate neural network. I think it uses a different neural network for stop signs and intersections and saying, okay, we're gonna get this ready, the appropriate neural network, we and we know a stop is coming up. And then when it gets close, it passes it off to just the visual. So it's like a hybrid um, approach. It's not just stopping where the map says, here's, there's a stop sign. It's right here. This is exactly where you should stop. Can you, cause you can imagine how brittle that would be. Limit lines are going to be placed, not exactly where the stop sign is. Um, so the visual needs to take over and we can see in this frame, it says stopping for traffic control in 100 feet. And this estimating is about 100 feet or here it's 75 feet, goes to 50 feet. And then it says autopilot paused. So I think this is at the normal, the point where the vehicle is gonna use vision only to fine tune the stopping point. I think those two factors that I mentioned before are in play here as it hands it off. Because it says, okay, I'm not really seeing a clear limit line here. I see a super clear limit line here and the stop sign being placed here. So just a little bit of error. I think this is basically a perception problem. The handoff is fine. Um, so just labeling, sending this to the labelers, labeling it here so we can get accurate perception to inform the driving policy of the vehicle. I think that's a pretty straightforward fix, nothing fundamental.